guys, welcome to my channel. This is Leah. So I went on a bit of a decor furniture, not really haul, but like just in the mindset of like being obsessed with certain Instagram pages. Like my biggest inspiration for decor right now is like Urban Outfitters, Structube, and Ikea. Those are like my top picks. Oh, and also HomeSense. They have a lot of cool stuff too. What I don't like about HomeSense though is that they don't have like an online platform where you can like search through stuff. It's just when you go into the store, it's just they have what they have and that's it. Like that's all you get. Like they don't even have more in the back. So that's kind of an unfortunate thing, but it kind of makes it a fun shopping experience because you don't really know what to expect when you go there because literally every store is different. There was one thing I liked at HomeSense, but the drawer wasn't working properly. But it was basically kind of like a cushiony bench seat for your front entrance way. I'll show a picture here. So the one with the drawers is it was $300 and the one without drawers was $180. But I kind of liked the bohemian style look. Basically my taste right now is like bohemian woodsy just like chill vibes. And I feel like with my current setup, it's very like modern and it's not enough like bohemian, wood-like. And that's the kind of style that I've always wanted, but to be honest, I've never had like the energy and the motivation and the finances to invest in big furniture pieces. I've gone to like JYC or whatever, that company, I always forget the name. And I also have shopped at like Walmart for like Umbra products and even like my TV console is from Walmart. So this is like my first time like actually being invested in coming up with the furniture that I like. Hi Monkey. Monkey wanted to say hello. Hi. Monkey always makes an appearance I think. She always comes by because she notices like why is she just talking to nobody. Nobody's here. And I want to hang out with Leah. Hmm? You're such a cute girl. Look at that face. Look at that face. Hey. She's my cutie. So yeah, I just wanted more of like a laid back bohemian look instead of like this modern look that I've got going on. So I've made a few purchases that are kind of like style statements I would say like there's things that you can buy that are just like whatever like just kind of in the background but then there's like these staple pieces that you're like oh wow that furniture piece is cool and it's not too expensive so without further ado so I got this little plant here and it has like a little flower in the middle which I found was really cute and it's called a Bromelia Se Guzmania. I don't know. And it says that it only needs like partial sun, which is perfect because in my bedroom there's not a lot of sun. There's just one window and I normally just keep the window closed. So I really wanted a plant that was like colorful and like kind of leafy but small that wouldn't need a lot of sunlight. So this plant is perfect. What I've been dying to get from Ikea is this specific plant. If you haven't got one of these plants from Ikea, you seriously have to because these plants are normally so expensive and this one at Ikea is only $15. But literally, like if you get them a little bit bigger than this, they can range for like $40, $50, $70 for this type of plant. So it's called the Ficus Lyrata Bambino. For this one too, it just needs partial light, which is perfect, and I can't wait to like scrub these leaves and make sure that it's all clean and nicely taken care of and happy and well groomed. I just, I love taking care of plants. I think I should make a video just of my plants because they're like my babies. I love to take care of them. And I decided to get one of these ceramic potters this time because I find that when you just get those like fancy pots that are like this and they don't have a hole in the bottom, you could risk root rot. And with this, with the hole in the bottom and this, 
the excess water just drains out and then you can just like pour out the excess water which is perfect and I hear a lot of people on YouTube have problems with this plant like this plant is not an easy indoor plant to take care of so I really just wanted to a foolproof safe pot so that I can like make sure that this baby doesn't die because this one is so beautiful Look at these green leaves. They're so healthy. They're so happy. I really hope that it can stay this way. We'll see. Another thing that you can dress up your bathroom with, one of the few things is like, I don't know, like towels, towel racks, what kind of lighting, what kind of mirror. But like the thing that you can always change that's super cheap is bath mats. And Ikea has them for super cheap. Like this one is $8. And literally like, so you could just like get a different color every time you go. Like right now I have a brown one. This one's like a blue stripey one, which I like the color blue for bathrooms because you know, like blue, water, clean, refreshing. So I like blue for bathrooms. So this will be my new mat. So this is what my bathroom looks like right now. And see, I have like the brown Ikea rug that's been there for like, I don't know, six months or so. And then I have like this ugly white rug that has just always been there, but I hate cold tiled floor in the morning, so I just like covered it with whatever I had. So this is going to be the before shot and... And this is the after shot. Wait, no, maybe... Maybe this is better actually, or... Or is this one better? Please comment below for some advice, please, and thank you. You know what's one thing that I actually noticed about these IKEA mats? They have really good, like, a grip. Like, it doesn't have grip, but it's like, the under padding is kind of like a sticky feel. Which I don't think that they had on the old ones. Yeah, like, it's just like a different feel. I feel like they've, like, upgraded their quality. So, like, see it? Like, it doesn't really move. It's really great. It's so soft. I mean, eight bucks, can't go wrong. And like, look how it creates some color in this bathroom. Love it. Can I get a shot of this here, please? Because this, this is mighty fun. I really like this. Ain't nothing like a nice new bathtub rug. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth, Sally? I know the truth. My feet are nice and cozy, just in time for the winter, and I'm in love with it. My feet feel very nice. Now oh, thank you. Thank you. Also, there ain't nothing like a brand new set of towels. Mm-hmm. Also, another thing about plants is where to put them, and you know, like when you have smaller size plants like that, if you put them on the ground, they kind of just look weird because it's just kind of like sitting there all low and lonely and I don't know, it just doesn't look right. You need like a big pot or like one of those standing ones, which I'm trying to find. But Ikea has like a little stool. So this little stool here, this one was I think like 18 or $20. And you can just put your plant or you can put multiple plants on here. Like you can have like a big guy or you could have like a medium guy with like two little succulents or like whatever combination you want and just have like this in the corner of your room. I think would look really cute. And again, go in with the whole wood look. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to build this. I'm not that great at building IKEA stuff, but Hopefully with a stool, it's kind of straightforward. And then you got your legs, and you got your top piece. How hard can it be, right? Oh! 
have it, folks. I did it in T minus minutes and seconds. big focus tree right here so that he kind of gets some sun but not too much and we'll see how he does here and I might just put like some more plants here too he's so happy look at how happy he looks monkey is he happy monkey is he happy oh baby okay so another really great accent piece to decorate your bedroom with is this is kind of heavy so bear with me is a really nice night table and what's great about this one is you can use it for a coffee table or an end table or a nightstand i know monkey sorry it's feeding time and monkey's getting cranky um oh yeah this is like it's basically like a massive cube but it's real wood i think it's like that Arcadian wood that struck tube sells, but this is what I got from HomeSense. Oh. Yeah, so what I was looking for in a nightstand was I didn't really want like the typical, you know, like the table with the one drawer or whatnot. Like I wanted something kind of different and I wanted something kind of low to the ground and block like. Like I didn't know if it was going to be rectangular or square. I just, I wanted something different and I wanted the wood look. So this is like, it was perfect. It was a little bit pricey, this is $80, but I mean for a nightstand, that's really good because other nightstands are like minimum 150 to 200 each. So this being 80 bucks. And also like this house that I'm living in right now, it's not like my permanent like dream home or anything. So even if I didn't use this as a nightstand in the future, I could always change it up and use it for something else. So like an end table or even a coffee table or a nightstand for another room. Like it's very versatile, which I really, really liked. Also, Monkey is super curious about this cube. I think she wants to like get inside. I think it's just the new smells. But like everything I bought, she's like crazy about this one. Aren't you Monkey? Oh, you so Monkey. Do you like your cube, Monkey? Monkey, do you like your cube? You like the cube? Hmm? You like it, eh? You like it? Yo, it could even be used as like a stool. Like you can just put a cushion on top of that and it could be like a seat or like a footstool. You could just put a little cushion and put your feet up. I mean like this block is just so versatile. Okay, so now to bring this bad boy to the bedroom. So this is what the bedroom looks like right now and I'm going to put the cube right here and I guess I'll move that to like that corner. And there we go. Obviously, I'm going to decorate this a little bit, so hang tight. This is the before, and here is the after. I mean, this isn't like set in stone. This is just, I just like whipped this up. I knew I wanted for sure my saw lamp to be here, and my alarm clock, my eye home, and then my flower I got from Ikea. I don't know if like, should it be like there or there? Or maybe just two things, I don't know. But that's the after shot. And I just moved that bag to the corner. And I was going to put this too, but 
it just seemed like it was just too much like to have that there and I know like the cable situation whatnot but I mean it would look like that sort of I don't know I'm working on it but I definitely love this cube okay so the last thing I got from Ikea was another favorite of mine when I saw it in the Ikea store I was like done like I have to have that it's over like I don't even care the price because I love this mirror and I've been seeing this mirror like all over like Urban Outfitters, Structube, but like they don't sell it and I see customers writing on the page like where did we get this mirror and they're always like oh it's from another retailer blah 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 but it's from Ikea like hello so this is the mirror <laughs> and there's you I mean I'll definitely show it to you when it's installed but it's basically a wood frame around it and on the bottom there's like a groove right here where the wood comes out like further so it's like almost like a ledge so it's almost kind of like a mini table so I felt like this was perfect for my entryway because like I didn't want like a table or anything there so I can just like literally put my keys right on top of there and be good to go and also it looks really nice you'll see by the way, one more thing, while I was at um, HomeSense, they're the same company as Winners, so I was looking at some like dresses and rompers and stuff, and I found this today, and I actually really like it. Like, it's really out of my style and comfort zone, but I like it. I mean, like, I've never liked a romper before, and I'm just really digging it. It's just so, like, airy and summery, and I love how it has pockets here, because I'm such a pocket type person. And like you can go like super conservative, you can go like risque, up to you. But yeah, I like it. This was literally 40 bucks. And I mean originally it's like, it was like 80 or 90 and I got this for 40. I mean, I need to start shopping at Winners more often. Same with HomeSense, cause you never know what you may buy. Okay, so originally I got this nice long vertical mirror, but I just feel like it's too big for like such a tiny space and really like you only see like the, your outfit when you're standing here and then you don't even get to see the top half. So what we're gonna do is put the mirror right here and then all I'll need is just the bench, but just wait for it, wait for it, et voila! I like this better, but now I need like a little bench there, a little table, but I like this better. Okay, so that's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys picked up a few tips and tricks. Um, you know, HomeSense, Structube, and Ikea are definitely my staple go-to places for furniture and decor that have pretty decent prices. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any recommendations on what else I can do to my place, be sure to leave a comment and like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so within Structube, I'm a little bit more indecisive just because of the prices but I'm thinking to get a new entertainment unit so like the TV would go up here this one or this one they're the same price same basically the same dimensions like height depth width and everything it's just that there's different looks this one's more like a cabinet and then this one is more like a TV console but I kind of like like the vertical wood look of this one and how like they're big cupboards, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. So I'm not sure between those two. And then also I just, I really really love the hand woven, um, what do you call it, rugs? Or, yeah, wool rug that they have, but not the price tag, like $600 is a lot of money for one rug in my opinion. Like I usually get a rug for like max 200, but these are like hand woven and everything and they're super nice. So I won't be purchasing this anytime soon, but it's definitely on my wish list. 
Also, I'm definitely going to be getting this stool. So it's kind of like a stool, like an end table. It can be used as an it can be used as an end table or you can sit on it or it could be used as a coffee table. And I love these versatile pieces of furniture. And it's only 100 bucks. Super. I am in love with the natural wood vibe and I just I can't get enough. Anyways, there's a slightly shorter version of it for more money, so just watch out for that. Make sure you get the one that's taller and for cheaper because it's on sale right now. And then I also want to get this bench for the front foyer area. And so I'll have like my new mirror that I got from HomeSense and I'll have this bench so that you know you can put your shoes on you can sit maybe like put some boots or like a basket with like pillows it's just really cute like it can even be used as a coffee table or even like a dining room table and i really just like the wood look on it where's that one there's some like inspo from Instagram. I really like that on their site. And this is like exactly what I'm going for. Like plant, bench, mirror, and like some hangers. That's like the ultimate. And then I also really, really love their dining room tables. Like the wood that they use is really nice. It's called Asai, Akasakai wood. I don't know. But I really love that type of wood look and it's like live edge. So this one is $450 for the 55 inch, but they have an open box one for the same price, but 83 inch because it's open box. So right now you can get the really extra long one, but I, I really don't need the extra long one. What I'm thinking for, like I don't even need a dining room table, but I'm thinking of using the dining room table as my new computer desk and then like whenever I have like people over you can always like just convert it into a dining room table but like with this one is just too long like good luck with that anyway so yeah I really like the light I also really love their couches I just feel bad about like buying a massive leather couch like I just feel bad for the animals so I kind of want like a knockoff of their couch but I, I really like this, this light fixture, it's $110. I like this, like the simplicity of this one, because it, it more so accents your couch as compared to this one where it's more like bold. So I'm not sure between those two. And there's an open box for this nightstand, so I'm thinking on one side of the bed can be my new block from uh, HomeSense, and then the other side could be this, I don't know, just thinking. And yeah, I like this marble, this marble paper towel thingy. And then of course, can't go wrong with uh, another pot. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking of getting from Structube. We'll see.